Hello everyone, welcome again and today on uh, this video I'm going to show you demonstration of the event management uh, project and that is in uh, Spring Boot and Hibernate. So according to the technology we are using Spring Boot, Hibernate, uh, GPA and uh, uh, to manage the front end it's using JSP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and it's deployed over the Tomcat localhost to store the information it's using MySQL Workbench and as a MySQL database. So here in the MySQL, we have these tables, bookings, event bookings, events, payment, and user table. There are two types of roles, admin and different user. As you can see, the customer is going to book the events. So we'll run the application and see one by one how uh, we can operate the application. So uh, this is the demonstration video. So in case you are going to purchase this project or you, uh, you will get this project from code one, and after the remote configuration of by our team so if you are taking this project don't worry about the configuration and setup we will do the complete setup and after setup we will lead the project in this state and after that you need to follow this video in order to execute the application okay so i'm going to show you how can you run it so this is your runner class for the spring boot right click on it uh, go to run as run on uh, not run on server just cancel it again right click on it go to run as run it as a java application you will see that uh, in the console load tomcat will start the server and uh, it will run on a specific port number which is 8081 so you have to wait until server will start properly uh, so you can see the message here starting tomcat server and you will see one more message uh, oh. tomcat is started on 8081 and after that you need to open this application or properties file here we have a url just copy this url open it at on your chrome browser so i'm just going to launch my chrome browser and in the url i will just enter the url i, will, I, I can see the front end of the application so this is a view and this is the home page after that what we have we have option like sign up sign login and event so currently in the event section the events are not available we will add some event so first i'm going to log in as an admin and see what admin can do and then we'll make some changes like make some uh, operations by the user so email id will be your username and the password is available into the database password column you can sign in over there so what operation you can perform the first operation you can add a new event so i'm going to add an event new event we can say and i'm just entering the dummy data you can enter uh, the meaningful data over there when you are going to operate it so theater number event name venue i just enter venue the type of uh, this date so let's say i'm going to say uh, the date i'll just say it's, 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 it's seven and the time let's say 11 pm and the ticket number number of tickets for this event like number of members should be over there so let's say i'm going to say 80 and the price for each ticket let's say 400 and choose an image for the event image so i just go over there and looking for some image so i'm just adding this dummy image click on add so event added successfully now if i check my event list it will be displaying like this so the event all the detail of the event is displaying over there if i want i can edit it by clicking on this button i can actually perform like uh, let's suppose i'm going to update the seat number so let's say now we have 100 seats and again i have to choose the image because there is a validation i click on the update it's updated now if i want i can delete it by clicking on this so let's add one more event and try to delete it so just i'm going to add another dummy data over there type the date so let's see seven twenty five time number of seats let's say there's a one twenty seats the price of each seat is four fifty and the choose image let's see another image click on add it's added so it will be displayed in this tabular form and in grid view and you can see it here if you want delete it you can just click on the delete icon it will be deleted and to book a event uh, we can click on the book event it will redirect over there but we'll see this feature from the user side currently we have logged in as an admin another option for the admin we have here as a user so admin can add a new user i suppose i'm going to register as a new user over there 
so need to fill up some details and what it says this is the date of birth so we can select the old detail from there and let's suppose i'm going to select this detail and it should be like mail and the user so let's say user at the rate uh, user s at the rate uh, gmail.com and here we can insert a password let's say demo at the rate one two three the phone number and selected all let's say user uh, also admin can add a user or admin both user it will be display over there admin can edit delete them another option we have booking list so admin can check the list of bookings so by the all the user with following details and the payment list the payment that is done by the user when i log out here and now if i click on the event section the event will be display here but if you know user is not logged in it will display the uh, like uh, not delete edit or delete option it will be just like book event option will be there so i can when i click on this it will ask me to log in or register if i'm a new user so i'm going to register i can register from here from the sign up page but uh, as uh, i have already users so i'm going to log in as a new user so this is the user that we have recently added so i'm going to just log in with this user only i just enter the username and the password over there i just hit the login now we can check the events over here i can click on the book event and now uh, in this book in this new event we have like uh, currently we have available seats that we have just added and now i'm going to book some seats like five seats i'm going to add uh, from that so it will ask me to pay and book so i just enter card number card name and the expiry date the total price according to the number of tickets is automatically calculated it come come as a total price i click on the pay it says payment done now in the booking history i can check the bookings and go for, for this user and i can check the payments okay then the, into the payment detail and if i check my event table uh, it will be updated my record so like in the new event we had like uh, earlier we have added 100 tickets now it's remaining is 995 so it's, uh, at, the, at the real time it's updating the number of tickets so that's it about the event booking management system in a spring Beat. if you need a source code you can connect us over the whatsapp email or skype so and don't worry about the configuration and the understanding of the source code we have services you can contact us and give inquiry by it and Take the services. Thank you.